I didn't film anything. Oh, it was unfortunate. Oh, it's too bad, huh? It's unfortunate. It's too bad. All I hear is Google. <laughs> Imagine your cup noodles. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was. For a second, I thought it was my cup noodles. I'll be so pissed. I'll be so pissed. Absolutely. <laughs> so we stayed at this nice little Airbnb right next to the seaside in the town of Kumado. Very, very peaceful little town. We had probably the best sleep since since we met up because we didn't set an alarm and it's already 12.30. Proper vibes. We are still sort of planning where we are going today. And this is our breakfast. So cup noodles, yogurt and oats, some oranges, and then proper running on a budget vibes. Mm. Healthy. Very healthy. Not, not, this. not the cup noodles, but <laughs> <laughs> probably healthy. Just me. So we go to the waterfalls? Mm-hmm. Do we still have some time left? In it. I think by the time it goes to the waterfalls and then there might be some stops along the way. Yeah, but we have to figure them out. The whole <laughs> point of this trip is we are trying to run on a budget as high as possible. I'm oh, sorry, no. The whole point of this trip is we're trying to run on a budget as low as possible. So we so James gave us the car for entirely for free. Obviously I have to make videos about it. And then we skip on ETCs, which is the highway toll. So driving takes a little bit longer than usual. <coughs> Twice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Twice as long as usual. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner, we only eat out only once, and then per day. Per, yeah, once per day, and then we sort of use Seven Eleven or supermarket as the remainder of our meals. I mean, they're still good. Honestly. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it. It's also, yeah, it's also just more healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you know two or three times per day. Then. Yeah. So maybe I'll give you guys like a rundown or breakdown of how much we spend at the end of the trip. But so far, it's not like we spend crazy much money. Obviously, we got the car for free, which is already a huge bonus for us. But even staying at a place like this is only. Yeah, this is not like actually the most expensive, right? Right. Like for so euro far, per so person far, right? per night. Yeah. Which is still, if you travel alone, you can't even beat that. Yeah. That's just possible because we're two people. Yeah. Alone, you would always pay at least forty, actually. Yeah. So staying at a place like this costs about sixty euros or four hundred to five hundred Hong Kong dollars, I think. And that's for two people. So. It's not bad at all. Yeah. So 65 US dollars for those that aren't familiar with currencies. I try to translate them as in depth as possible. But this is the most expensive stay we stayed at uh, throughout the trip so far. And even for the coming few days, it it's, not even, yeah, it's not even close to this amount. So we're just trying to find the cheapest accommodation, but also the cheapest and the nicest, so cheap and cheerful accommodations. And so far, they've all been pretty cheap and cheerful. So. Before we head off, Lewis wants to take a quick peek at the sea because the sea is his ting. The weather today is so nice because yesterday has been rainy and foggy the whole day and now at least it's sunny with partially some cloud oh my god the weather today do be quite nice look at all these pebbles they're all so round are they natural or or they've been dumped here. Oh, 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 oh. 
My day's feeling way better already. Big one, big one. Oh, that's good one. Oh, oh, oh. I really love the sound of the waves. They're very, very, very majestic. Oh, big one, big one. They're very majestic. The very heavy bass to it. The wind, the sun, the weather. What a start to the day. I know what the waterfall is called. So we found a shrine next to a huge waterfall. The waterfall is called Nachi no Taki. And it's. Correct, yeah. yeah. Probably the whole thing is called Nachi no Taki. No, Taki is the waterfall, but then the... Yeah, well, I think the plan is called the same. Can't make Thank you for visiting, Nachi no Taki. Okay. Oh. Shoulder down, please. Absolutely amazing waterfall. Sure, sure. I really love visiting shrines, it's pretty wise. There's a very peaceful vibe to all the shrines in Japan and they're all different. And I always like to get myself an omikuji or an omamori every time. It's always the vibe. Always the vibe. It's always the vibe getting ripped off by <laughs> Oh come on. <laughs> no. It's cute. Very cute on. Every shrine has their own sort of theme, sort of vibe. Here is right next to a huge ass waterfall. I personally really love it. One of my favorite shrines I visited this year. But we might still need to head to another spot to get one of the shots that I always wanted to take. Definitely not the best idea to carry all these gears and climbing a mountain, but I am completely out of breath but a shot is definitely worth it. You got Stopped by on the side of the road because found quite a nice looking hill. It was quite a nice drive up as well. So gotta take a few shots this amazing view sun is going down absolutely perfect うん、大丈夫ですか。ポジル、卵とじってことですか。はい。これがちっちゃいうどんで、もうこのまましかできないんですよ。オッケー、オッケー。あ、検査エクストラ。エクストラ。うん。どうアイデアですか。はい。そう
。ありがとうございます。<笑>はい。Export all my footage and try to back them up because I'm always scared that I'll lose all these precious memories if I accidentally format my SD card, which luckily never happened yet. But you know, it's always better to be safe and always back up your footage. For the past couple of days, I have been filming with this chonky boy right here. It's still the same camera, but now I have a cage from Small Rig that they sent out, a grip handle, and a Top handle as well. Also added a monitor, which I bought secondhand. Super cheap, gets the job done. It's from Port Key. And also, I have this lens to try out.、Uh, huge shout out to Max for letting me borrow his lens. I want to see if the lens is a good fit because I want to try a different focal length. This is a 70 to 180. It is a very, very long lens. It's also super, super heavy. I wanted to try out the lens before I actually make a purchase because I already have the 70 to 28. I have the 28 to 75. And I was thinking of adding this into my lens selection. Then I'll have the cheap Holy Trinity. For photos, this lens has been absolutely amazing. Here are a couple shots that I took today with the GT86. But for videos, it is slightly slow on focus. And because of how heavy it is,、um, Shaking is inevitable, so you have to be either really steady or you have to use a tripod. So, handheld, not really the best with this guy. And also, the entire rig is very, very heavy.、Uh, it's like an arm workout、uh, every single day. Also, filming alone can get very annoying sometimes, especially when you have to walk back and forth. But for the past couple of days, I have Lewis with me. He's currently taking a shower. Having someone with me to get the shots that I want makes life. So much easier for me. So, filming for the past couple of days, I've been super, super happy about it. Today is the last night we'll be at this particular Airbnb. I kind of love this place. It's an absolute vibe. It's a very traditional Japanese style cottage. We just did laundry because I don't think we can do laundry for the next couple of days. We'll be moving further west from where we are right now. We are in a small town called Kumano. I wanted to go to the beach again tomorrow because of how beautiful it is. Hopefully, we can revisit this place as we drive back again. But for now, I'm going to continue backing up all my remaining footages, edit quite a few photos for Instagram stories, and we'll see where we go tomorrow.